Oh, and I'm up here in my upper kitchen. Uh, this is where I actually do a lot of my cooking and baking and things. As you can see, I have all my stuff lined up here. And I'm putting some of these wonderful, great big old brown eggs in my basket that I use right here. Um, I thought I would venture, adventure, and take you down to the lower kitchen and show you how I cook back straps tenderloin venison. The back strap is the part that comes out of the deer in the back. That's why I call it back strap and a lot of them call it tenderloin. And it's a very delicious part of the venison of the deer. So I'm going to take you down in the lower kitchen and show you a video clip of how I, Maul, do the uh, cooking on the old cook stove. So God bless and have a great day. Okay, this is Maul, and I'm in my kitchen. I thought I would show you a little video clip of how I prepare my back straps. I had taken these out of the freezer, and they're still partially uh, frozen, good enough so that I can actually take a knife through them and cut them like this. I take my old cast iron skillet, and of course, I have that good old cup of coffee. For you coffee drinkers, you know how that is. Um, anyways, I put the uh, straps after I cut them. I put a little bit of olive oil in my iron skillet and a little butter. I use real butter. And then I will take some of my seasonings and put on top. And then I'm going to take it down to my good old cook stove and I'll show you that in just a few minutes as I finish this and I'll show you okay I had to check my fire and that log looks pretty good and hot so I have brought my back straps down here in my cast iron skillet I love using cast iron skillets and they're good it's also good for you to use them so now I am going to put my lid back on top of here, actually my cover. So, and then I'm going to slide this skillet right over here. And as you can see, it won't take long for this to heat up. It's iron on iron here. So um, I'll cook this. You can actually do the back strap just like you would a steak how you prefer it. Um, some people like it well done, some people like it medium rare, and some people actually like it just a little brown on each side and pull it out and eat it. And I want to tell you something, for all those who don't know about this, the tenderloin that you get it out of, this is venison, and um, this stuff is delicious. Now the way I have this cut, you actually can uh, put it on a sandwich and what we normally do is I'll be frying some potatoes and some eggs and as you can hear look it doesn't take long at all on the old cook stove to get it started so okay this is Maul down in the lower kitchen and I have placed my iron skillet on my uh, wood cook stove and I have placed my back straps and of course they're cooking already no sooner than I put it on the stove it only took uh, maybe two minutes to get bubbly hot because it'd be iron on iron and um, I also wanted to let you know that I uh, put the back straps in the butter and the olive oil because I always use olive oil and real butter and then I sprinkled a little bit of Old Bay seasoning on top of that lemon and pepper and a pinch of garlic 
Now, I love garlic. Not everybody likes garlic. And also, then I top that with some good old Worcestershire sauce. And I know I get tongue-tied on that one because some people call it a different name, but that's how I pronounce it. So, anyway, I thought I would let you see this. And this is cooking on the old cook stove. I love to cook on this stove. I love to do a lot of stuff on, uh, like, you know, wild meat, rabbit, squirrel. Um, a lot of wild game. So, and I love to fry my chicken in the old iron skillet, too. This is Mama's way of cooking her back straps. This is Mama. Alright, this is small, and I'm in the lower kitchen on my cook stove. So, God bless, and I hope you have a great and wonderful day. If you have any comments or any questions, you can leave it in our comments below. And, um, God bless, and have a great day. And don't forget to subscribe, because I actually want to do a lot, of, lot more of the um, cooking videos to let you see how I do the old county way. When I fry squirrel, my venison, rabbit, and all that. So, once again, this is small. And I'm down in my kitchen. God bless.